A notorious al-Qaeda leader apprehended during that U.S. sneak attack in Tripoli. Abu Anas al-Libi is currently in custody and on his way to the U.S. to face charges. So, who is he and what does his capture mean for the war on terror? ABC's Brian Ross is here with us with that. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Lara. The challenge now is to get al-Libi to talk, and a team of specially trained interrogators is already on the case. Al-Libi was part of Osama bin Laden's early inner circle of al-Qaeda terrorists who plotted to attack the United States. I think there's a lot he can, he can say, and I think there's a lot of gaps he can fill. U.S. officials say al-Libi had been under surveillance in Libya for several months. So the U.S. already has a good idea of how the 49-year-old al-Qaeda leader and computer expert might operate and will use it to break him. That's called the we know all approach or the futility approach in which you try to convince a detainee that you already know everything uh, and there's no sense in withholding it. Tony Camarino is a former U.S. senior military interrogator and now teaches how to break a terrorist. You can break anybody. The important thing is just to build rapport, get information, figure out what motivates them. Camarino says the fact that al-Libi's family in Libya saw what happened can also be used in the interrogation against him. We call that the love of family approach, where you emphasize that person's uh, love to their family, their relationships with family members, uh, in trying to get back to them or trying to ease their burdens by cooperating. And among the big questions for al-Libi, where is al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawari hiding? What role, if any, did al-Libi play in last year's attack and murder of the U.S. ambassador in Benghazi? And finally, where and when is the next attack against the U.S. likely to come from al-Qaeda? Under the current U.S. policy, the team of American interrogators will not be using waterboarding or any of the other techniques that were widely considered to be torture. Instead, they will take time, maybe lots of time, with a man who represents a potentially huge intelligence coup. So many questions. Do you think they can get those answers? They're confident they can if they have the time to talk to him and to lure him into giving all he knows. It sounds like they're going to take a lot of time, yes, right, indeed. Brian? Thank you.